In this video, we are going to be going over how you can make contested shots at the highest rate in NBA 2K24. In this video, we are going to be going over the best jump shots in the game for every single height. We're going to be going over some very important tips that you'll definitely want to hear that are going to help you make contested shots and much more. Before we get started, if you could drop a like on the video and drop a sub to the channel, it would really help me out. But I'm not going to waste any more of y'all's time. Let's go ahead and get straight into the video. Now, the first thing and probably the most important thing we're going to talk about in this video is how important jump shot grades are when you want to make more contested shots now the main grades that you want to make sure are the highest they can possibly be is your release height and your defensive immunity as these two grades right here are going to give you the highest chance to make a contested shot if you don't already know release height is how high you actually release the ball when you shoot it which is going to make you a lot harder to contest by the way so say you have like a defender jumping at you that release height plays a big role but defensive immunity plays a way bigger role if you don't already know what that is the higher you have the defensive immunity grade the lower the contest is but now that y'all know that grades play a big role in making contested shots we're going to go ahead and talk about the jump shots themselves now regardless of the upper releases that you use i highly recommend that you use tracy mcgrady as long as you can get it you need an 87 plus mid-range or three-point shot to get it so it is a little bit expensive now on my six foot six build with an 88 mid-range what i'm using is base tracy mcgrady release one oscar robertson release two julian strother speed max and then the blending 86 14. now if you only have like an 87 mid-range for example i recommend finding a different upper release too the reason i'm using julian strother is because it is the fastest one that i could find that also has some pretty solid grades sadiq bay is another really really great option but as you can see it does bring down my defensive immunity so that's why i'm not using sadiq bay release too now on this build i can't get it but if you can get it i highly recommend using tracy mcgrady oscar robertson oscar robertson this is what i use on my guard with a 98 mid-range yes a 98 midi i know it's crazy but look at the grades you're getting you're getting an a plus height a minus immunity a speed b time and stability now i'm gonna be honest with y'all right if you have a lower three ball or a lower mid-range it's gonna be really tough to find a jump shot with a high release height and a high defensive immunity and i'm not gonna lie this is probably the best y'all are gonna get i recommend using torian prince release one oscar robertson release two sadiq bay max speed and 50 50 blending this is my main jump shot on on my build with only an 85 three ball i really have to move on to the other height so if i didn't cover your three-point rating or mid-range rating leave a comment down below and i will help you with the jump shot moving on to five foot seven to six foot four builds i'm gonna go base patrick mills release one oscar robertson and release two oscar robertson as well back speed and blending doesn't matter you get an a plus release height a plus speed a minus defensive immunity and not only do you get all those grades you only need an 87 plus three pointer mid-range now if you don't see patty mills base the reason is probably because you're not superstar three as you do have to be superstar three to get this base and if you are not superstar three i recommend using base stephen curry release one oscar robertson release two terrence man you want to go max speed and then 60 40 blending now moving on to the six foot ten to seven foot three build i ain't gonna lie if you got a low three pointer or a low mid-range on a six foot ten to seven foot three builds there's really no hope for you your best bet would honestly be be to find a jump shot with a high release height and just try to shoot over people i'm gonna go ahead and pop on the screen my current jump shot that i use for my low three point six foot ten build but if you have a higher three point or mid-range i recommend using base jonathan isaac release one julius randall release two marcus morris and then for the speed and the blending you want to go max speed and 68 32 blending now since we just went over the best jump shots for every single height we're gonna go ahead and go over the best shot timing visual cue to use me personally i use push it's the easiest and smoothest to time in my opinion but i do know a lot of people who like release but still in my opinion you got to go with push now the next thing that we're going to go over is the badges that are going to help you make contested shots the most now the most important badges to shoot contested shots with first up you got dead eye dead eye is without a doubt the biggest badge when it comes to shooting contested shots as the entire point of this badge is literally to get a lower closeout percent whenever you shoot a contested shot the machine is also insanely important when it comes to making contested shots the way this badge works is after you green consecutive shots you're going to get a boost in your green window the higher you have this badge the next badge that's going to help you make more contested shots is blinders what this badge is going to do is if you have a defender jumping at you from your side if you have a defender crabbed this badge is going to lower that contest percentage obviously the higher you have the badge the lower the contest is going to be those three badges right there are the three most important to green and contested shots now some more badges that i definitely recommend 
recommend getting max but they aren't really as vital as the last three i just talked about mini magician guard up base creator is a really really good badge if you do a lot of hop jumpers and catch and shoot is good if you're like a spot up and even if you're a guard it can still be a really good badge in some situations yeah those badges make sure you get those max especially the first three those are the most important the next tip that i got for y'all is to pay attention to your hands and don't pay attention to the timing whenever you shoot i'm gonna go ahead and show y'all what i pay attention to in my jump shot now obviously with the push cue what you want to look for is the push of the ball out of your hands or the wrist flick tracy mcgrady the wrist flick is the easiest to see out of any of the jump shot bases boom right whenever the wrist flicks like that you want to release the jump shot if i didn't pay attention to that i probably would not have made this shot because i'm gonna show y'all one more time with this shot like it's not normally how a jump shot would look as you can see like i'm falling back you got to look at your hands you can't go off timing or else you're not going to be able to make contested shots now, the next thing that is very important to greening your contested shots is getting your hot zones you can get four different types of hot zones obviously you want to get those lethal hot zones now like i said they give the biggest boost to your green window but they're also the hardest to get now the only way you can get your hot zone upgraded to a lethal zone is by going to this place right here the art of shooting gym once you get to the art of shooting gym you want to go ahead and head inside you want to go talk to lethal shooter right here once you talk to him you get to pick two spots on the court that you want to upgrade to a lethal zone now for me i shoot the most on the left wing and the right wing because the way i play i iso and that's where i put most of my shots up so depending on your play style you want to pick wherever you take the most amount of shots and all they're going to do they're going to make you shoot 10 shots from each spot and as long as you make your shots you're going to get an upgraded hot zone you can see i have made all 10 shots from each of the spots and my two hot zones that i picked are going to get upgraded to a lethal zone it comes to some more methods to get your hot zones upgraded i highly recommend playing the street ball court over here the sunset park sunset park is the easiest to get your hot zones upgraded all you want to do you want to go play the guy named disco if you don't want to do this you can also get your hot zones up in any other mode my career and get it up by playing park stage rec literally anything else another tip to making contested shots more consistently is to buy jump shot boosts they're going to give you a boost in your green window i also strongly recommend turning your jump shot meter off as this also gives you a 30 percent boost in your green window and it's also really good practice for getting to know your jump shot for your cue and not your timing like i talked about earlier if you put all the tips together that i just showed you i promise you you are going to notice a difference immediately